Good morning. It's uh, Roland from East Marsh Acres, and uh, it's Labor Day Monday. Uh, so the what the second of uh, September, something like that. Um, and uh, we're here beside the chickens. Apparently, we had six and two, six good ones and two eaten. Uh, only one in the nesting boxes. Um, so we'll see what we can do from that. All right, the game plan for today is primarily day number two for potato harvest. So we're doing potatoes harvesting from here yesterday, uh, along with the onions in that row. Um, this row is primarily squash, those two, and we still have some some uh, cucumbers growing. Um, I noticed that there was one that was coming along and it's still still okay shape and there's several other flowers so I think we'll still get cucumbers for a little bit. Uh, first frost date is uh, the end of the month um, so hopefully we have a uh, good long stretch into into September if not October happened before uh, that we've had first frost later in October um, so the potatoes that we're going to be harvesting today uh, so these are our sweet potatoes and we'll see about them later but uh, this is where we planted potatoes in this row uh, so all the way up to the back of the shed in this particular row here uh, sweet potatoes and then in the outside row we've got beans we have to pick beans as well um, I think we're picking beans what tomorrow something like that <clears throat> and then here are carrots and uh, you saw me picking uh, Roll, put your gloves in here. Uh, picking the voluntary um, uh, cherry tomatoes yesterday and it looks like there are some more that we can uh, start uh, harvesting as well and uh, then carrots will stay for quite a while as we're going along. I think that brings you up to date in terms of everything that's here. The only other thing is the high tunnel and we'll go back to the high tunnel a little bit later. Anyways, we'll bring you along uh, as we go through the day. Oh, um, yeah, so there are leaks at the top of this row, the carrot row, and we'll take a look at uh, harvesting those as well. Uh, I think they're ready to go. Yeah, the uh, the flowers are just absolutely. And they're all grown from seed. So. All right, so I'll turn the other camera on and uh, we'll go from there. Talk to you soon.
Hey, what do you think about the uh, potato hole? <laughs> well, we got quite the haul. A whole Henry full of potatoes. All sorts. Volunteers, yeah, reds. Mostly reds and whites. White. A few russets. A few russets. I think that's left over from last year. Yeah. I think they're volunteer ones. And a whole pail full of leeks. They're huge yeah. as well. And lots of... Um, yeah, lots of cherry tomatoes from the volunteers, and yeah, so I think we have, oh, I don't know, how many pounds do you think that is? I'd say like 200 at least pounds, potatoes. Quite a few. Last us the winter. Yeah. It'll last us the winter, so we like the potatoes, so, <coughs> so I'm pleased with the potato haul. Not so much with the onions last uh, yesterday. Yeah. And it looks like the squash are squash gonna be really, gonna be really, really good. good. Yeah. Tomatoes are okay. And green yeah. peppers are great. Mm -hmm. And it looks like the carrots are gonna be pretty really good. Really good too, yeah. And beans are big. all right. Yeah. Yeah, so. So it's just cucumbers, onions. What else have you been disappointed in? Well, we can't keep a rhubarb plant alive for whatever reason. I don't know why. Oh. And our strawberries basically disappeared. Well, no, they're they're still around, Trish. Just that they haven't given us any product. Yeah. Next year we'll have some asparagus, which is nice. Mm -hmm. So garlic, um, they were good garlic. Um, maybe we didn't plant enough yeah. or whatever. But, um, but the garlic themselves were really nice and big so um i got them from our feed store so i think and they're there again so i think i'm going to get them there again because <coughs> garlic plants in october yeah and then they stay over the winter and then uh, grow uh, in through the spring and you harvest them what around july yeah yeah. Early July. So I think we're going to plant them at the end of this, like take out everything from the kale and that out, and then plant them in there. You got to find a better place for, for uh, brassicas. Yeah, I don't know. The cabbages are just not doing well. I don't know why. Can't get cabbage to grow. Well. Anyways, time for lunch. Let's take the haul home. And, yeah. Okay, gloat over the potato haul. <laughs> Want to take a couple of stills too? That could do. Wow. That is a lot of potatoes. I think they get it. Daily chick picks. <laughs> they have suddenly decided that they are no longer brave. They're now chickens. Hey ladies, lady, lady, ladies. So a little bit of an update. We found one dead this morning underneath the, the heater. It looked like it probably... Suffocated. Suffocated, probably was sat upon or a bunch of them were on top of it. I don't know, whatever, but it was, it was in the corner and so unfortunately, we're down to 29. Okay, 
I think we're going in for a break, and that'll probably be do, be it for today. Uh, thanks for uh, sticking with us, and uh, we'll get this posted as soon as possible. Um, and we'll see you soon.